Hey! Were you hitting on me, buddy? <laughs> Not at all. Although... Ah, no, something else. You see what life has done to you? Even your reaction to the word fun proves it. Entertainment? What's that? Playing a guitar? Talking around a campfire? Drinking till you drop? Nobody knows how to party anymore. And people need to unfucking wind Otherwise, the stress is gonna kill you. So, what did I do? I created this great game. Ultimate, because it's one and only and bestest. Fury, because it's fueled by emotion. And the last part, wait for it, Cricket. Ultimate Fury Cricket. Cricket. Yeah. Used to be a sport where you hit a ball with a bat. In my game, instead of the ball, you have... Infected! And what's new about fighting the infected? What's new is that you just make pure fun out of it. How about that? No jobs, people trying to get you to rescue them, no clearing out buildings. You just get out there and take your frustrations out on the fuckers. Wasn't that what certain sports like boxing were always about? So if you feel like it, just step into the arena and pick up the mace. Oh, and by the way, you can earn cash money. Just promise me one thing, bro. Stay away from my brother, Ron. He's a fraud and a bore. He, he tells everyone he came up with Ultimate Fury Cricket, but it was me. You got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, you gotta help me. I'm in deep shit. Real fucking deep. If you don't help me, that bald thug, my uncle, will beat me. And he's got hands like cast iron frying pans. The last time he hit me, I had a lump on my forehead as big as a horn. Uh, like some fucking rhino. And it came in rainbow colors too. The horn, I mean. Now, based on your colorful description, sounds like you enjoy it. He'll be fine. Later. You got a problem? A problem? And the lad. What did you do to make your uncle angry this time? Nothing yet. But I will in a moment. Like any normal person, I took a nap and then boom! I was asleep like a frog in a swamp in winter. The worst part is that the sausage is on the verge of rotting. In this day and age, throwing away good food is a crime. Okay, nearly good food. 
but it won't give you the shits quite yet. If it's eaten in the next hour, everyone will be fine. Okay, maybe one of them will run to the bathroom. Better than starving. After all, no one has shit so much they stop being hungry, right? But in three hours, everyone's asses will explode like shit geezers. Then comes the puking. My uncle will just fucking kill me, and the rest will feed my corpse to the infected. I'd hurry this food over to them myself, but I still have to prepare the smoker. This stuff doesn't make it. Well, you know what will happen. Show me where to go. Jesus, you can't even imagine how important this is to me. Just grab the food rations on the table and hurry up to deliver them. Looking for a job. Straight ahead, then 16 more steps. Turn left. Dodge the three infected there. 26 plus 82. 108 steps. Greeting, citizen.
you are awesome. I know you made it in time, too. I met one guy who ate a sausage sandwich, and he was fine. He even called it tasty. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got some spare time? Because if you do... Because I got another sausage run to prevent the runs. And you, you already know where to go. This isn't an urgent race like the last one. But in this weather, you have to be careful with food. The faster it lands in someone's stomach, the better for everyone. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all. I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved Mink Stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink Stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. Then you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Now where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining... Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await!
Damn! Almost at it. more like squirrel than mink. Well, I'd better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola. Her hair. She's so good with the kids. Can't be seen. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar. Simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth.